Hey guys, how y'all doing? Well, I'm gonna do a video on the Anglia Street Rod, do my first one. As you guys seen in the last video, I, was, I asked you guys to do a little vote. Let me know which one you like to see the most next out of those five, I think. And I didn't really count, but I saw the name Anglia on there quite a bit more than all the rest. So I'm assuming it won. If not, let me know. And uh, so I gave this one a start. I got some pieces part painted. I got a lot of the stuff broke down and clean. I was going to try to do my first airbrush on this one, but uh, when I tried to do the primer, uh, it kind of filled the room up with a little bit of fumes. So I, I didn't go any further on that. I think I need to get a spray booth before I do that. And it's a little too cold outside. Let's start that. So, I don't know how many of you guys have built these, this kit. Um, it looks like it can be a little bit of a challenge uh, with the, all the doors. The body's going to be a little fragile. one I got is the actual older it's the 99 built one it's not the 2017 that they did the small run on so that's the older one so the decals only have that angly on it um, let's see try a little bit different camera angle on this video so I did a little bit of cleaning up on it. I glued the headlights in so that way I can not have to worry about gluing them in later. I think I should be fine with the paint. But you can see all the all the hatches already cut open. Uh, doors and hood. Well, let me break it right here on the camera. Here's the hood. It is a flip hood which is pretty cool. The single little roll bar. Amazing how times have changed. They have one roll bar versus what do we do now nowadays. I'm going to glue this up and I'm going to paint a body color. So I got that separate. And the two doors. Nothing special there. And then the, and the little deck lid for the trunk. So I got the engine started. Uh, painted it blue. Now, from what I looked up, let me get the computer on here. Okay, so what I've found out, because it don't say in manual anywhere, um, at least I haven't read it anywhere. I got the older one, which is just the single leaflet. Now if you got the newer one, it's more of a traditional Revell manual. It might have what engine is in this. But I didn't see it say anywhere. So I think this engine do with the spark plugs being in two pairs. And then at the top, instead of down below the, the header, the cap is in the back. I'm assuming that's going to be GM. And with the exhaust, the headers running into two and the single ones on both sides. With it being like that, my prediction is is this is the Oldsmobile rocket engine. And um, which is the 
455, I think. Uh, let's see. It won't be the 455 because that one, the spark plugs in in a double set. But yeah, I thought this picture was. This is a Ross Racing Rocket engine. But anyhow, I'm not going to waste much more time. If you guys know the exact motor of this, please let me know. I'd like to know what I got in my kit. It has the two spark plugs paired off on the top. Like so. I might have to do some touching up on it. But I'm going to try to wire this one. So I was going to drill them holes before I touch up and go any further on it. It does have the oil line right there, or the cap. And then the distributor cap is supposed to go there. So there's that. This is the firewall, and they have the gauges built right into it. So I'm going to have to try to give them a little bit of a detail to it. But before I do that, I'm going to have to mask it all off and paint these body color because they do stick out. So. So. I think it won't look very good if I have that chrome sticking out of that body. I seen somebody else's kit online when I was doing my research and they had their firewall was painted black and then these were black. It didn't look awful but if I can prevent it from looking different I'm gonna try to do my best. So because before I saw that picture I was gonna just leave those chrome thinking oh that ain't gonna be too bad. But it does show up a little bit more than I thought it would. So, and even on this kit, if you do it right, the steering, because this is the steering linkage, will tie up into the steering wheel and you should be able to steer the car from inside the car, kind of like a um, die cast kit. And some of the suspension parts, I got those painted. The interior is going to go with the tan. But the paint can that I got is messed up. I think I'm, it's over. And uh, it's really thin. I don't know if you can see that. But you can see the red right through it. So I think I'm going to try to airbrush the rest of that since it's so cold out. And go with a color that kind of matches that. Right. And there's the rear interior. And then you get the I got the chassis done so I can start doing that. And I'll actually just hand touch up that. So we, once I get a little bit more of that details done on that, I'll end up doing that. But I got a decent little start on it. I think for the body color. So for the body color, I'll end up doing one of these these colors. Lime Ice or the Mystic Emerald. I think I'm going more towards this. I'm not 100% sure yet. But since it's that one coat lacquer, it'll cover good. And since it's kind of cold out, I gotta do my painting outside. The lacquer actually does pretty well for these. So, but I got quite a bit painted. 
Now it's just a matter of getting that body painted and going from there. Alright, not much to show, but I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.